Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. This is another in my series of comic book related videos on comic investing and investing in low grade comics uh, of major blue chip comics. So these are comics that are true investment tools, but uh, not at that typical investment grade where it's like a nine eight. Um, today's video, I'm going to be looking at a hot book uh, that's currently hot. It's at sort of its peak heat, I guess, uh, because it's a comic that's really, really, um, it, you know, there's a lot of hype, a lot of attention to this comic. And, you know, it's kind of looking at that spike in the market and whether or not the, the low key is is a good investment or safe investment in that hot market. So I'm going to show you uh, the comic that I'm referring to. It is X-Men number four. Now this is a low grade. As I said, this this is when I say low grades, I mean anything below a three, a three or below. And this is no exception to that. It's a two five. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's a reasonable comic. It's, you know, it's got a kind of mangled spine, but I don't mind the mangled spine too much because you don't really see it in the case. Uh, it has a small tear up here. And those are the major flaws and it has like a, some bending up there. So that's why it's a 2.5. And you get what you expect, you know, with, a, with the low grades, there is going to be some obvious wear and tear to the comic. But for the most part, it presents fairly well. So with all that said, um, this comic is ultra hot right now because of the Wanda Vision series. Now, this is the top of the market, what we're talking about right now, because this is the, 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 the season finale when I'm recording this video just came out. So I'm recording this video when the season finale has just come out and it's at the top, the very top of the market. Now, once uh, maybe a month or two has passed since the series has aired, it's probably going to cool off a bit. Okay, so that's kind of what you would expect. Um, so we're looking at a, a low grade blue chip in a hot market. So a whole bunch of things to look at within this one comic. And the reason this comic is so hot is the WandaVision series. And this is the first appearance of Wanda and Speed, and it's also the second appearance of Mag second appearance of Magneto, and uh, it also is the first appearance of the Toad. <laughs> so a whole bunch of characters. And let's take a look at how well this book is performing during this hot market. So, let's switch my screen. So I. I believe I paid around 500 for this one. I believe, I think that's what I paid. Five, 600, I believe. So um, we'll see how well I did. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I overpaid. Um, and that was last year. So uh, first appearance of Quicksilver, first appearance of the Scarlet Witch, first appearance of the Toad, first appearance of Mastermind, first appearance of the Evil Mutants. Okay, and you'll notice a high grade, like a 9.8, hasn't sold recently. So this number is really, really low based on sales history from 2012. So probably if a, a high grade came out, there would be a huge spike in this number, I would imagine. But let's look at the low grades. And so we go down um, uh, back to June of 2020. This might even be my sale. Like I think I, I paid around five, 600. I think it was around that. So, and it was around that time. So this might've been me, uh, <laughs> this stale um, time period. So, uh, so two five sold for 600, um, might've been less than I paid. I can't remember what I paid. I'm really trying to remember. Um, but you'll see that there was some recent sales, uh, January, February, 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 you know, uh, again, February. So lots of recent sales, so lots of activity. And you'll notice a huge number of sales, like 25 sales for a blue chip. That's a lot of sales. Um, so yeah, and there's not that many on the census, believe it or not. So some of these other chip, uh, blue chip comics I've looked at, like uh, Hulk One and 
they've had like like four or five thousand on, on the census, and this is around two thousand. It's a fairly rare book for for what it is. So let's dive deeper into the numbers and see how well this book is performing. And it's going to load <laughs> someday. So yeah, so um, as this is loading, um, yeah, it's just a, it is a great comic. Um, it's taking some time to load. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so I managed to get it working. <laughs> it just wouldn't load. Um, I, I ended up looking up how much I paid. I paid 540 for it, just so you, you have the real numbers. Um, and we can go back. Uh, I'll look at it later. But you'll see that the prices have really, really spiked, like 73% uh, for just to get in the entry level of 0.5. It's gone up 73%. There's been no recent sales that, so they can't really give you a sense for the ones in the one five, but you can see just everything spiking, huge numbers. Uh, the two five went up the least, of course, that's the one I buy, but um, I believe that I did quite well, even based on this numbers. Um, and you'll see like, Actually, some of these high grades have really, really spiked. And part of the reason for this high spike in these um, higher, higher grade ones is they didn't really have uh, a recent sale until like, uh, like they went sort of through a lull where there was no sales for many years. And then all of a sudden one came on the market and it sort of price, price corrected where it, it kind of spiked as a result. So you'll get these kind of big spikes. Uh, that's another thing that you see with the lower grades. Uh, you'll see that the prices that you that that are kind of coming on the market won't have that. Uh, they'll still they will go up, but uh, they'll be much more um, a reasonable jump. You you won't see that kind of like uh, you know where it sold like 10 years ago for a hundred bucks. And then all of a sudden it jumps up to a thousand. Well, that will happen with the high grades, but the low grades, you'll generally have a fair number of sales happening all the time. Uh, you'll notice the sales numbers are fairly high for these uh, lower grades, you know, uh, like 10, 11 sales, whereas the high grades, it's one or two sales. So you, it, it's just based on the, that more, you know, uh, activity of the lower grades, you can sort of get a better sense of how much your comic would be worth in that lower grade. Whereas the higher grades, you might not be so sure about what your investment's worth. I mean, you can base it on the low grades <laughs> or on the last sale, but you don't really know because there's just not that activity that you you see with the lower grades where you can really say, okay, this is how much people are generally willing to pay for that lower grade. So I just wanted that to be uh, made clear. Um, but uh, again, you can see that it's a hot market. It's going up 50, 50%, maybe even up to 80% on some of these. So those low grades are doing very, very well. And the high grades as well <laughs> did well. So just overall hot market for this one comic. But um, investing, let me just go back. And I want to show you something. So I, I, I told you I spent uh, 540 for it. It went up to 600. So I made 10%, if you think about it. Um, so I'm that number, basically. <laughs> you know, I, I, I fit into that number very clearly. Um, and what you'll notice, though, is I my investment into this is 500 bucks. Well, if I had put in like um, like four thousand or two thousand, and it's gone up, um, I, I put myself at a higher risk, and I might not see that return on my investment. You know, as I said, these it's a hot market right now, but once the show is kind of getting out of people's minds and people have moved on to the next show, well, these mar these prices can drop, and you can see um, a bit of a correction. And you've made a, you know, you've made a 
bet on something that you know you put more into that bet and it's just a safer investment to kind of go with a smaller bet sometimes you know we play it a little bit cautiously so that's just something i kind of want to get across in all these videos that i make about these lower grade ones that it is a matter of um picking your battles and 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 really choosing us whether to take a big risk or a small risk and generally i i'm i'm a little bit cautious in the way that i invest in things and generally i want to play it a little bit safe so i'll invest where you know i don't have to put that much money towards it you know if, if it goes down i will only lose a little bit um and it, on a low grade one you can sell it pretty quickly so you know you can minimize that loss like so for example if i think that this book is really going to tank well, I know that there's a fair amount of activity that's happening on the low grade. I can sell it pretty quickly. If it's a higher grade, well, that higher price point means that it might be harder to pull out that investment. And uh, you might not be able to pull it out quick enough before the market just drops on it. So right now, I, I could sell this book pretty quick because the mar it's really hot. It's really, you know, it's the time to, to sell basically. Um, but if I had that higher grade, it might take a week to sell or maybe a couple weeks to sell. <laughs> and by that point, the you know, people are kind of maybe losing interest in the show and it might not get the same price that it did only a couple weeks earlier. So that's the kind of point that I'm trying to make with this, with this, these hot market uh, books that uh, you, you have to sort of pick that battle. Uh, and um you know, with that said, you know, again, this is kind of, I'm trying to give like my kind of reasoning behind buying these lower grade ones. I'm kind of in a way, just to give you a sense here, I'm sort of justifying myself a little bit in these videos. I'm justifying the fact that I couldn't afford that 9.8, but I could afford the 2.5. <laughs> so I really wanted this comic and I, I could only afford that lower grade. So in a way, these videos are a bit of my justification for it. But I do want to show that even though maybe I'm playing a little bit of a devil's advocate with the lower grades, um, they aren't that bad of an investment. They're actually a pretty good investment. You'll see that they, they do quite well. Um, so I hope you enjoy these videos. I hope you, uh, you know, check out my others in the series, uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, all that wonderful stuff. And thanks for watching.